community-led learning is a remedial kind of lesson which complements the classroom uh, learning. And this came at a point when our learners were at home. So the community-led learning approach was introduced in time to ensure that uh, learners in the lower classes didn't lose so much because that age is the foundation. The community-led learning uh, is delivered by the volunteers uh, who are known, who are highly uh, motivated, educated, and uh, normally they are based in the communities. In the classes, there are 20 learners. It is a school-going children who are in P1, P2, and P3. And uh, we give them placement tests. Those who struggle to answer, those are the ones we want because we want to improve them. The majority of them, they were not reading. They could not count the numbers even up to 10. But the, at the end of it, they were counting, they could read and write. The curriculum is simple. First of all, the handbooks are user-friendly. This is a lesson handbook for teaching the children. It has a lesson plan and learner's tracker to assess them. They are all here. We have attended some of the lessons in the villages, under the trees, and I see it very, very interesting. Children learning how to write, giving responses which are positive and also the songs which they sing, making the class lively. I like the, the teachers. They are very motivated and they know how to bring children to learn. You know, one of the reasons why children drop out of school is because of poor performance. When they see they are not performing very well in class, then they say, why should I go to school? but community-led learning arrangement brings them so that they catch up with the rest. And then when they come to normal learning, they are able to cope very well. TLL is not uh, competing with the, the normal programming of uh, government. It is, it is complementary. It is complementing the classroom lessons that the learners get. I've even got a feedback from the head teacher of, of uh, Alif Premier School uh, thanking me and saying that when these kids go back to school, they become active and they even perform better than those who are not in CLL lessons. At first, we selected these pupils from the primary schools, those who are slow learners. They are now improving. The way I've seen it, they can now read and write. I have seen the immense contribution of parents who come in to support the learning of their own children to better the education of their own children. The parents had uh, a lot of things to do. One was to provide the venue. You know, this learning is taking place either at a parent's home or in a, at a church or anywhere in the community. So it was the parents who gave us these places. I decided to help just because I just wanted my child to also be en engaged in this learning. I wanted my, ch my children also to become some, but some people more important in the future. We contribute some money for buying some soap, for washing hands. We clean these mats, we clean those places. That's how the parents do contribute. At centre level where learning is taking place, we have the centre management committees or CMGs. These comprise of five members and these are parents of these learners who are drawn from the different localities in the community. So their role is to basically ensure that at uh, every time the learners are learning, 
the volunteers in place and all the facilities required for learning is good and above all they oversee the issue of child safeguarding. In our area here we, we are monitoring how the program is going. We also provided the, the kids with some materials, learning materials. Well the project is for us, it's not for government, it's for us. So if we can't build good foundations for our children then it is very hard. So we participate in this program to ensure that even after the project ends, it continues to you know, be there. So that is why I passionately follow it and uh, participate in it. Project has come to benefit our communities, so we are going to make sure that this project continues for some quite number of years. Why we call this a big success? Because then you'll find children up to P4, up to P5, struggling with what should have been done in P1 or P2. And then this program comes in and is able to fill that gap. Some of them are level who should have been in P5 but failed to read. And then they come back, they're able to read. And that gives them morale, that gives them excitement to continue with, with education. If all goes the right way, if we can scale it up, then we have a huge number of the population that can progress beyond the primary school education. Then we have some hope. So looking at this great improvement, that means we can still do much more than this if we give in the resources, we give in the time, we give in the support, if we own it as the community. Uh, Mamu Dillon, eh?